am Pinstar, and this is Transport Fever Strategy and Tactics, Episode 18. So in our last episode, we, uh, we began to see some of the pains of our modern society. And by modern society, I mean traffic. And by pains, I also mean traffic. I mean, look at this nightmare. Look at this. It's just a row of cars, trucks, and buses all getting in each other's way, trying to get to and from. And all the while, costing me maintenance ticks, sitting in traffic, sitting in the road. This is not efficient, and adding more trucks to the mix is not going to do a squat. Absolutely nothing. So, we need to fix this. We need to remedy this. I'm going to let you know, guys, this is going to be a somewhat shorter episode, but a lot more focused on the task at hand. And the task at hand is solving this problem. So, what are we going to do about it? Well, I've done some tinkering. I've done some thinking, if you will. Um, and I have a bit of a solution here. Uh, so, here's what we're going to do. First off, we're going to take a sledgehammer. To, well, first off, I want to repeat this in all of our main towns, but Ficklewood is going to be our guinea pig here. Um, so right now, we've placed our depots in the industrial area uh, because, well, it's good, it's useful, it, it, it gets the goods to the industrial area. And that's all well and good, but the problem is that it is now too knee-deep in town. Um, we need to separate it and also the truck traffic out of town so that, uh, well, it doesn't gum up the works uh, over here. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to, first off, we're going to create what's a bit of an outskirts, if you will. What we want is, well, first off, in order to, we're, we're essentially going to be moving this. So let's demolish it first. Boom. Down you go. All right, so while we have our little temporary ticker here, let us get a new one. Large truck station, if you please. And you know what? We're going to stick it way out of town. Like, oh, how about right here? Boom. Got our new truck station. Now, we do have a bit of a secondary truck station right here. Uh, but that has to get moved, too. Um, so let us destroy you and we'll upgrade you while we're in the process of moving everybody to another large here just because we can now in all of this there's going to be yet another truck station but this one we are going to face upwards like here actually let's get the uh, let's get the road going first and then I'll, I'll plop that one on there Large country road. This is what we want. It's not quite as expensive and extensive as the extra large. That's a little bit overkill. Uh, but it has the 100 kilometers per hour speed limit. And it's got the extra lanes that we want. Um, and you know what? What the hey? We'll put in bus lanes just in case local traffic decides to want to use this little section. They might. This will keep them out of our buses or our truck ways. Our trucks ways is what I was saying. So up you go, like so, up you go, like so. Um, and then what, now what we'll do here is we will place our third truck stop, let's say right about here. And yes, I know, there's a lot of terrain modification here. At this point, I don't care. We just want our freaking truck stops here and we want them now. Now. There's a reason why I put a gap between these two, and that's because this one is facing the city. So what we're going to do is we're going to do yet another... Um, well, this one I don't think we need the large country road. A medium country road will suit us just fine. Well... Hang on. I don't want to knock that building down, so let me see if I can get in on this. Oh, this one never teleported itself. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess it was a little bit too far away. Well, I'm going to have to retool then. That's okay. We're going to be doing some retooling anyway. But let's see if we can get this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this weird terrain here. There we go. Hooked up here. Now here 
here's the crucial part. We go back to our large country road. We're going to draw this, but we're not going to hook it up to the town. In fact, this is like a gastric bypass for our heart lines. Um, I can has. There. So, here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so our original, there, there's two heart lines that are, well, there's a couple of them that are affected here. The first one here is the glass bolt to fickle wood heart line. So let's go track that one down, or fickle wood to glass bolt, I should say. Fickle wood H glass bolt. Let's pull you up. Um, and actually, this one's unchanged. It, it, Ficklewood Central got itself migrated over here just fine. So this one's just going to keep doing itself. It's just going to be doing it in a slightly different location. Now, um, our secondary one, which is going to be Fuel H uh, Ficklewood, uh, is going to need to get moved uh, because it didn't... Uh, What was this one? That's Ficklewood West. So we want to keep Ficklewood West. Ficklewood Central, not so much anymore. Um, actually, no, this one we actually have to move. Um, even though it got migrated properly, we want to move this one. So we're going to add a station here, Ficklewood Halt. Uh, and we will get rid of Ficklewood Central here. Now, for the piece de resistance here, um, I still got to rename these, but eh. Uh, where are we? Ficklewood local. Oh, yeah. We have, I just realized we have two Ficklewood local C's that are going to the exact same place. There's no reason for that to, uh, um, to, to, to be redundant here. Um, that's an Opal Blitz. That's a Benz. You, my friend, why don't you go to the Ficklewood Local C, the other Ficklewood Local C, like so. This one we can terminate then. Um, and what we're going to do with Ficklewood Local C here, because the Ficklewood Local C is going to be our local commercial delivery, and it's got a nice, nice centrally located uh, drop-off point, but... Um, we don't want it going to Ficklewood Central. No, no, no. We want it to go to that station. Get rid of Ficklewood Central here. Boom. Now, we have created the need for another line. Um, having moved our, our stations away from the prime industrial location here, it now necessitates that we... Uh, um, do start doing industrial deliveries here, which is fine. That is the price of progress. It's a price I'm willing to pay. So we will do from Ficklewood Exchange to this place right here, New Road, which is right right dab in the middle of the industrial area and has pretty much an inroad to all the industry in Ficklewood. So it's a short little delivery line, but it's a delivery line nonetheless and one that's needed. Uh, so let's make... Uh, Oops. Ficklewood Local I for industrial delivery. And let us uh, build a couple more road vehicles. Yeah, we'll set them there. They're, trust me, they're gonna they're gonna need the extra volume pretty soon. Ficklewood Local I. There we go. So this, my friends, well, let's, 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 oh yeah, one, one last thing that we forgot to adjust, and that is um, the machinery deliveries. Ficklewood's, uh, Ficklewood's uh, main distribution product is machinery, uh, and we have a line that is dedicated to just delivering machinery to Ficklewood. We need to adjust them just a tiny bit as well, uh, I think, yeah. Uh, um, machinery delivery. Oop, there it is. There you are. 
Wow, machinery delivery bring pulls in some pretty good squat here. Oh, and you're not set up for replacements. Opal Blitz. Yes, thank you. Not that they don't already have Opal Blitzes. Is, is, is. But what we do need to do is change their destination. Uh, glass bolt sightings is fine. Ficklewood Exchange, that's that that's no good anymore. That that's a dead stop. Um, so we're going to add this Ficklewood Exchange, and we're going to kill this Ficklewood Exchange. Good. And now we let it run. Now there's going to be some chaos as everybody uh, gets itself uh, orientated and what have you. Uh, and obviously there's going to be some some empties um, as we've just obliterated all of our build up here. But trust me, there's a method to my madness here. Uh, slowly but surely you will see these these sort of come 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 un, 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 unwind itself, I should say. And once everyone see what what happens is when you when you mess with stations, it sends everybody in the opposite direction of the station. So there's going to be a big crush of of trucks uh, heading away from the station. But soon we'll be getting goodies coming back, which is fine. So here's here's the method to my madness. All three of these truck stops are within catchment area of each other. So whenever somebody drops something off here. It can appear in either one of these uh, uh, other truck stops. Um, so, truck comes up here, delivers, say, some fuel. They're, they're dropping the fuel off here. Well, not that guy, but soon they will all have fuel. Soon they will all have fuel. <laughs> soon they will all have fuel. Come on, game. Somebody be full of something. Yeah, like I said, we're going to take a little bit of an income hit with this little adjustment, this growing pain, if you will. Because it looks like, yeah, this area got reset as well. Weather be construction materials plant. Really? Okay, if you say so. Yeah, look at this. Look at this thing. Go nuts. Absolutely nuts. So soon this thing will have more more goodies to bring over here. Ah yes, now we're finally getting some some action here. So truck comes in with some goods, drops it off. It can go to one of two places. If it's going to be a local delivery, it drops it off here. And all, all the only uh, trucks that visit this place are the local deliveries as well as the machine deliveries. And of course, if the machine delivery, if the machines need to go uh, in, well, either direction, um, the machine delivery guys come here and the machines can appear into either of these two. Meanwhile, our uh, glass bolt uh, to Ficklewood uh, uh, Heartline will be appearing here. So the main, the main concept behind all of this is that we have basically doubled the amount of uh, actually tripled the amount of ports that we can work with here in terms of our our uh, trucks being able to get in and out of the different uh, uh, places here um, while still maintaining the the purpose the the heart of the heart line you know a truck comes up here drops off goods that can be picked up by somebody else and can at the same time pick up different goods or the same goods and bring it back the way they came it's just been spread out here. The, the, the fact that these guys are all within the, their catchment areas um, uh, is extremely important. Now, one other extremely important area, look at the traffic patterns here. Truck goes up, uh, goes up here, drops off their fuel, picks up some machines in this case, and goes back the way they came. Nut and trucks here come up Come up down this road, go across the street, pick up some stuff, bring it into town for delivery. And what happens here? Bring stuff in here, go into here, pick stuff up, go back the way they came. None of these trucks cross each other's paths. The only exception would be the machine delivery trucks, 
but even then they're just sneaking by here to just to, to slip in here and i the reason i have them delivered to this station is it is the least busy of the three just with the local deliveries compared to the volume of trucks here it's more likely that this is going to be free and that therefore um you know the the local uh, the, the local delivery carts are not as likely to get thing and yeah look at all these deliveries piling up so we are going to need to add more trucks to this mix um but look at all this this is all you know it's going to the local delivery first um and then once once the town gets you know gets satisfied then more and more stuff will start flowing and and dripping over that way now we still we still have a, a backup problem. Not nearly as bad. Look 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 at this. Look, not nearly as bad, but we still have a backup problem, and that is with our lone little uh, lower Ficklewood stop right here. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We are going to do exactly the same thing. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it on the other side of town, because we do not want. Um, we do not want the buses to fight with the truck traffic. Just plain and simple. We don't want them to fight with each other. I mean, they will bump into each other on these main roads, um, uh, more or less. Um, but they're not going to be, you know, pulling into a stop. So as long as they're off of that area, um, then they're in a pretty good spot. And once again, we're going to do the same, same idea. Uh, what I need to do is I need to find a good area because this area is, yeah, honey bunches of hills here. Um, even with my, eh, I don't care, um, I think, I think, I think we will care. Um, doesn't help that Ficklewood's built on a freaking side of a freaking mountain here. So here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do it. Mm, let's see here. Switch you over to passengers, and yes, we are going to do these with bus instead of tram. Well, we can make the middle, the the local, the quote unquote local deliveries. We can make them tra a, a tram station because at least in Ficklewood, um, we're going to be doing local deliveries with the tram station, and then the other twos can just be bus stations to handle the outside lines. Um, yeah, this ain't, this isn't so bad. So we're going to do a very similar pattern here. We'll have two with their backs facing the, uh, the town here. And again, we are not considering the catchment area because we're not going to, we're, we, at this point we are sacrificing the catchment area, the natural catchment area of the stop in order to rely more heavily on local deliveries just so that we can get them the hell out of town. So we don't have the traffic nightmares. And then we'll get a uh, tram station here. Well, here, let's let's draw our roads. Large country road. Oh yeah, actually, no. Instead of in this thing, we want streets because we, uh, as I showed in the last episode, we want people to be able to use crosswalks. And since people don't instantly teleport the way they uh, uh, the way goods do, um, they need to walk from one station to another. If I mean, they're still going to be in each other's catchment areas, but they're going to need to walk there. So they are going to need the officially need streets as as opposed to uh, as opposed to. Um, uh, country roads in order to get some uh, tracks out of the uh, or get some crosswalks out of the DL. Right then. Uh, right. Tram station. Excellent. Beautiful. All right. Let's 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 do some uh, let's do some surgery. And now we can go back to the country roads because we got our crosswalks here. So here, we're going to, yeah, go here. Oh yeah, what I need to do here, tram track, electric, bus lane, yes. Uh, actually, no, we don't need tram track here. Um, so no, we're not doing tram track here because this is sort of our arterial dodge, if you will. Actually, let me, let me do this in little portions. There you go. 
And then you, my friend. Let's sneak you over this way. Ah, uh, how big of a dodge do I want to do? Because we could still use the, uh, we could still use the 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 city's roads here. Um, I still do kind of want to dodge them though, and you know this kind of ties into the others. So yeah, we'll plug this one in here. Um, and then this, this one will get tram track, yes. And I'm going to need to do a lot of uh, upgrading here. Well, not a lot of upgrading, oh, but I will need to upgrade you. You're, you're electrified, right? All right. Now, what we're going to do here is obviously disrupt the ever-living heck out of a whole bunch of things, but all in the name of sanity. All right, so let's just for the sake of completeness here, let's hang on. Tram track. There we go. Get some tram track going there. Now then, um, one thing we are going to need here is a bus stop in the location of our former yeah our, our former stop right here is going to be this bus stop because we do still need to cover that area um but not with a stop proper uh and now we have a whole bunch of things to reroute uh, let's see here D -d 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 fickle wood fickle wood fickle wood come on where are you up at the F's. Of course, that's where you are. All right, Ficklewood P. Pelican here is one. Oh, by the way, we can turn off our 25% replacements. That's going to get expensive <laughs> if we just replace those without needing to upgrade them. Yeah, look how much this is losing here. Uh, probably just because of how much traffic there is. Uh, so let's pick you up here. Uh, lower Ficklewood? I don't think so. Instead, we're going to go to here. Mm. Well, as long as the other... Mm. I was hoping you'd go over here. Because I don't want you bumping into... Yeah, this isn't going to work. We need to do something drastic. We wreck you. You're going to take the you're going to take the bad way. If we wreck you and put you like way over here. Well, no, then we need we still need to keep them in the catchment areas. That's the thing. We can't make them too far away. There. That's that's a little better. It doesn't back up and go back the way they came, unfortunately. That's lower Ficklewood. Remove. All right, so they come up here, hit Ficklewood East. But unfortunately, do not go back the way they came. But that's still not too bad. That uh, uh, it could be worse. All right, Ficklewood P Glass Bolt. Um, lower Ficklewood, of course, being our non-station here. But I don't think we'll have as much trouble with the logistics here. Ficklewood, get rid of Lower Ficklewood, and yeah, see, it keeps itself from being polluted here. And then last but not least, well, we can control the trams a lot better. Um, 
Ficklewood ICP. Um, instead of local Ficklewood, add you and get rid of uh, local Ficklewood. And then again, it'll just be going to its local stop here. All right, new roads, fine, perfectly, perfectly fine stop. Um, and then ICP2, the drive um, will be at station, get rid of Lola Ficklewood, and we need to, let's, let's tramify a few bits of area. Yeah, upgrade with tram tracks. That's what we want. There, that's a better. That's a better route. Nice and nice and straight. Worth the extra investment. Um, and then we're gonna need an extra um, um, local line here to the old station here, uh, which is fine. Uh, it's worth the investment in this in this particular case. Um, because, I mean, that is a pretty darn prime location. In fact, I'll probably be allocating maybe three trams to it, at least to start with. So that's going to be here to here, Lower Ficklewood. Uh, oops. Ficklewood ICP3. Um, and then we will add... Go to our tram depot here. One, two, three. Boom. Now let's unpause this beast and see what kind of, well, again, major disruption to start with and the loss of the built up passengers. But soon, now I just need to make sure, yeah, it looks like these are in each other's catchment areas, which is fine. My only worry is that these will compete with each other. I might draw. Let me try. Let me try doing this real quick. Um, drawing a large street. Like that and see if that draws people away uh, from uh, using downtown to travel. And I realize I have some bus stops here that just simply aren't seeing use, but eh, we'll see what we can do. All right, now what I want to see is if we get some people um, uh, tra walking from here to one of these other places. Actually, look, we, we already got a runner. We got a runner! They're going to work via Ficklewood P. Pelican. And they are hoofing it. They are hoofing it. So that's what I like to see. Get a little hustle going in there. So yeah, they got to run a little bit further along, but it's good to, at the very least, good to get those out of the way there. And we've all busified all this. And now we can see where there are, holy crap, we need more local. Holy crap. More local delivery. Lots of local delivery. Yeah, Ficklewood's getting hungry. Hungry like the wolf here. Local commercial, go. Local industrial, go. And see, you know what? I'm comfortable throwing this many vehicles at it because I know they're not going to get in the way of each other. There's enough empty space here for all this to, to work properly. And the fact that we have commercial and industrial as two separate lines means that we're, they're going to be using two, at least two different bays here. And hopefully the third bay is going to be used for by our machine drop-off people. Um, so this area, this, the, despite me throwing more and more vehicles at it, it shouldn't get gummed up. And look at all this 
Look at all this beauty. Now, obviously, yeah, there's a little backup here from all the trucks that I just bought, but they'll they'll get themselves spaced out in due time, and Ficklewood will be get will soon be fed with all this sweet sweetness. This is all local consumption from Ficklewood. Huh? Interesting. There's there's some goods on the industrial line. I guess there's a few. A few uh, that sort of b bled over to the other sides, which is fine. I mean, once they accumulate enough, it'll take a load of, you know, a different kind of good. So, eh, I'll live. Yeah, these guys are all just dropping stuff off here. What do we got? Food processing plant. I'm working on it. There's a lot of food you guys brought me. So, traffic jam alleviated. For Ficklewood, anyway. We still have some nightmarish nonsense we're brewing for some of our other towns. Um, so, to because, I mean, because, and this is why I kind of want to make it a little bit of a, a, a quicker one. Uh, because... Um, it took, it's so involved to build up like this, but also because it, you know, is essentially the same thing once, you know, the same pattern, uh, slightly differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be basically doing this to all of our major ring cities. Um, the only tricky one's really going to be Veronaville because it's married to the port, but I'll figure something out for that. In fact, I'll probably do all of them but Veronaville, and then, you know, in our next episode, we'll uh, we'll figure out something good for it. But in the meantime, I think we've uh, got our traffic problems sorted. Um, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tip, um, and I uh, hope it helps you out in case you uh, ever run into uh, some backup and traffic jam and nonsense and nightmares here. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya.